Good morning, folks. Today, science delivers a reward to observers who have really taken in the modern catastrophism data on the galactic current sheet. We've got eye candy as well, and we're starting at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star relatively calm. Definitely going to be monitoring that snake-like plasma filament crossing center disk on the south, and we did get one impulsive M-class flare event from the southern sunspot group, but it was short-lived and did not produce a CME. However, we did get exactly what we expected in the solar wind yesterday. Coronal hole stream set in immediately after the weak CME impact, producing a short-lived lowest level geomagnetic storm condition. We will keep eyes on our star, but right now, eyes to deep space. We are zooming in on the Tarantula Nebula, but more importantly, the 30 Dorada star forming region. Here, they found multiple factors in a tug of war trying to determine how many and how rapidly stars are forming. Also have an excellent multi-wavelength view of the system here, and it was the infrared and radio wavelengths that offered the discovery. We're taking only a little skip to the side here to find the first ever example they have found of a white dwarf eating rocky and icy material, feeding off the planetary system that once was lively around the star, and when it goes nova they'll be forced to blame this material and not a binary. Folks, here's the reward for those who have done their homework. Obviously, the galactic current sheet is covered in both the new supplement and the next end of the world. And for those who know, here's a double dose. In looking for what's shaping the form of the galactic thin disk, they very adequately recognize the multiple sources of perturbation, like the spiral arms we know, their spurs and feather features, the splash effect from previous dwarf galaxy interactions, and of course, the full magnetic system of the galaxy. Set up like you'd find in small lab experiments, at the Sun and the solar system, and at other galaxies we've seen. The Milky Way magnetic system has a current sheet waving and rippling through it. This is the magnetic reversal point in the system, not the exact galactic equator. And it not only delivers a galactic magnetic reversal to the stars it encounters, but extra dust and plasma as well. The real delight comes from Voyager 1 and 2 data, which has previously shown the pressure fronts and shock waves it's encountering at the edge of the system. Today, we get confirmation that it hit a magnetic wall. And ever since the field strength is amplified for the spacecraft, which they say is unexpected, not anticipated, maybe not by them. Observers are another story. We greatly appreciate your support. If you didn't get the books while the store was open, next best thing is to watch the Earth Disaster Playlist. Find it right below the video in the description box. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.